off. Yeah. Hello. Hello, my name's Carl, and we have a special guest, Matt, who's eating pizza. So, yeah, Hello. yeah, I'll apologize <laughs> for the noises and the drawling that he does. And then we've got <laughs> Mr. Martin down at the bottom with his woolly hat on. It's, it's getting a bit nippy here, it's raining, it's horrible. He, he's had a stressful day, but uh, yeah, well, it's, a, it's not gonna be a long one tonight. We're just literally gonna unbox a filler dryer S2 from Sunlu because we've got nothing else to do because. I need some parts still for me under two to build it. And I've been I playing with um, Iono all week. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm loving the Iono, Iono again. And, I sort of drifted. Uh, and now I'm you drifted. You do drift I'm a little back. bit, though. I do. I, I do tend to drift a little bit. I, I end up getting a bit carried away and then jump onto something else and then something else. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, yeah, that's really <coughs> cool. Let's go back to that. So, yeah. But it, it, but it means I get to sort of recap how good it really is. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I like their filament. I love it. I've got, so uh, I've got, I actually got an, an Amazon return for me, you know, no, and that's actually the, the pink from it. Nice. One of the returns. And obviously that's a clock spring box. Yeah. Um, right. But that pink is, it does, the camera doesn't do any justice whatsoever. It's absolutely gorgeous, the colour so yeah, nice not. and vibrant i must um, admit i had i had a, a return gold from them ages back going back about six months ago and uh, that was stunning that was really nice really deep gold color it was yeah I, I was really impressed so hence this time i jumped onto the gray and a white pla plus so and i still love it well anyone in the uk at the moment is looking for any glittery filament iron are selling this at eight pound a score eight pounds that's the stuff i've got on my s1 as well i think yeah yeah i've got the purple eight quid. Uh, and i love it love it and that that's on amazon that's not off their 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 own website that's off amazon um and it was here the next day and i can't wait to actually do some bits with it because i've got and the red it. somewhere it's actually now while well, you can see this this there is the is the glitter purple basically if you order it if you're going to leave yeah. a comment on it just say we found out from under the hot end because that will just like boost my ego hello Sorry. matt matt do you want to jump on mr akuma mods akuma mods he he <coughs> he did he did a live the other day and he did the um the crystal dragon coil yeah nice yeah, I've, I've, yeah. His soul left his body as well. Hey, hey Pez Liz. What is that for a Domino's cookie? <laughs> You've got Domino's pizza as well. Oh, yeah. Domino's yeah, pizza, was, Domino's cookie. That, mm. that was printed, Matt. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that. that looks that's good. The though, idea, the, that's a good thing about your printers. You can actually put pizza on it and keep it warm. Yeah, I've done man. it many a time. Yeah, my, my printer tends to warm up everything. At the minute, my laptop sat on one of my printers, so I've got to remember not to uh, turn that printer on. Because <laughs> yeah, I could get warm quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I've um, I've damaged a few phone cases. Like, just yeah, leaving my oh, phone yeah, on man. there. And I'm, I put all sorts uh, to be honest, I'm scrapers. I always I'm forget to take the scraper off. Melt the handles. Well, I, I learned a valuable lesson actually the other day because I put um I put you know on your S1 map, you know, the yeah. the flexi PI sheet. All right, yeah. old. Um it's crap, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's crap. Yeah, yeah. It's poor. Um so I've been I put actually, <laughs> so I've actually put that on my focus now just to All get right. rid of the glass. And I didn't stick it on properly. I'm gonna come in last night. The, the 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 sheet had gone that way and the prints <laughs> had gone that way and it was just a mess and it's still a mess and it's gonna stay there oh. for a long long time. The Kuma mod <laughs> says he's on an ender. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well <laughs> true it's story. all right. He Akuma, uh, Matt's actually got himself a Prusa printer now as well. So he's Have got you? um so he's just he's just unboxed the ten log D three that you've got, Mar uh, Martin. Yeah. Um. He is printing a dragon on there at the moment, and I think it's about six days. I don't nice. know how much is left on it, but 
it was looking nice. good he's got uh he loves the viper absolutely loves his viper still in the box yeah his proofs are still in the box and he's got an <laughs> sv it's got the fv4 from uh soval the uh idex from them which i really nice. want. i really yeah. really want that one because it, it it looks like it's been made really well and the 10 log i i i actually really rate the 10 log to be fair um I, i've had loads of fun with mine it's and great going, winner. and going from a conversation on the Corality discord i think Corality are going to be dropping a idex printer soon yeah i, I think it ain't gonna be long they ain't gonna be far behind on that one. Oh, it's still on its way ah okay that's why it's not unboxed <laughs> But yeah, Matt Matt did a live unboxing of his ten log, and um, is it a rainbow and a black? He's doing, I think, on it for his dragon, and it looks really nice actually. The the the, the difference is quite nice. So that'd be an interesting live to watch his soul leave his body when he destroys that. Yeah, because <laughs> like, trouble I, disaster, definitely. <laughs> I, I'm still finding bits of I called it the tear dragon, like it's everywhere. <laughs> Like I've literally just launched it and I still find <laughs> bits it's tomorrow chain. and the day after. Um, yeah. you must have you must have had about 200 key rings, I think. Oh, <laughs> and the rest. I can't, I can't give he's, them away. The worst thing is he's still finding key rings in his bedroom. <laughs> Do you know what I'm, I'm finding? The, 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 the little hinge bit inside, I'm finding that everywhere. Like, I mean, like I found it. I found it about 20 pieces over there when I was cleaning up the, the table before. I found it actually inside my Corality um, Harlot Plus. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> it, it's, it's nuts. You got to like, love it. But, but I am, I, I'm going to say a big but. I've still not got a successful print off my Harlot yet. Harlot Plus. Still struggling with it. Struggling. Mm. I did, I did, um, I did the Soval mascot. That was a big fat failure and i did that Try turning it off and back on again i, I did that flat on the bill plate just to actually have see you, if it was the support have you tried is it is it pure bed bed adhesion issues or no i, I just random it's got to be i it's got to be something to do with their settings in i don't know it's it's like i did so I did get some successful prints on it, but it was stuck to the bed. But right. that so shouldn't more... be like that. Now, mm. I am using Lightsy Slicer. I have tried using Creality Slicer for it, which is a bit confusing. <laughs> Each box has just got the, the plus on there, so I might have a little fiddle with that. But if I'm struggling, so is yeah. Kuma Mods. Matt is, you know, he's the resin god. You know, yeah, he's yeah. the man that you know, has speed settings for most of the resin printers out there that he's ever had his hands on. <laughs> I'm really struggling with it. And I really want to enjoy using it because it's a nice printer. It looks nice. It's got, got a blue lid. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's no, it's, it's quite disappointing because that first test print you done on the unboxing, that was cracking. Yeah. That, I was actually that, like, quite impressed with that. Yeah, that looked really good. And I, I can still get them to this day now. But that's Weird. not good enough for me. I don't want to be doing the frozen test print because I want to make things. I want to do things. You know, like like my Mono X, I've had it, what, three weeks, and it is Mr. Reliable. It works. Like, I've not used it for two days. I've just stuck uh, the Photos Mint new print on there. You just have to wait. I've just stuck it in there, and it's, it's doing it. It's perfect. It's off. Yeah. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Weird. Yeah. Well, it just goes to show that any cubic are actually really nailing their printers at the minute. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. we're not here to see my face. Let me just take my camera off a minute and then I'll just move it because I'm trying to be a bit of a professional. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> so he's still finding parts of his dragon. That's what it is. <laughs> He's doing Pokemon, but with dragon parts. Anyway, we're here to unbox this anyway because it's been sat here for weeks, and I have no humidity problems, so I might as well unbox it and see what it's like. <laughs> and um, I am in the process of turning this into an all-metal hot end. Nice. So, um, the original ones. 
with our little remixes on it, Martin. Yeah, boy. The S ones. Love them. I was looking for. Did these. you ever do the bracket for that that we I designed with uh, Simon? You mean this one? I don't know. You froze. Come yeah, on. that's the one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the kitty. I'm actually going to remix it to go on there. Nice. So it'll fit onto that so I can put these on it. What? So, as in a so clamp? Yeah, I'm going to put my dryers in one place. And then, because we don't have the issue of humidity here or damp or, you know, not like, you know, like living in Florida or places Unless like that. Unless you live like, where like, I am. Like the Kuma Mods the other week, he had so many failures because, like, the temperature just dropped. It was dead warm, like spring weather, and then it just dropped, and it was cold. And if you live it out there, if you, if you live in the Mediterranean in the UK, <laughs> you've got palm trees around the corner. I've got a palm tree right outside my my door, mate. But <laughs> is there still <laughs> a dent on the rain uh, and moisture? The only palm <laughs> tree I've got here is on a wall. <clears throat> Someone painted it. It's not warm enough here. People come oh, south no, thought... to die. I've actually got three in my garden. But Martin, is there still a dent on that path there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <It's laughs> dent on my bridge where Matt fell over when he visited. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll take him anywhere, there, can yeah. you? Gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt. So, anyway, actually, before I open this, I was talking to uh, Matt and Martin beforehand. So... Um, Sun Lu approached me today, and we are going to be running a competition on Under the Hot End. Um, I will post it tomorrow. So if people want to share it about and everything else, I will share links in like discords and stuff like that. So Sun Lu are trying to get their YouTube channel to grow. So they've asked us to do a competition. So five winners will win one kilogram of random filament from Sun Lu. Uh, and probably give it a week and we're closed down. I had a dream. I dropped into the UK for a few hours for no reason. Should we, um... To be honest, I, I dream of never being in this country because it's so depressing at the moment. <laughs> You're welcome to take my place. <laughs> like, 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 I'm so glad I don't drive a diesel car because it's £1.77 a litre of diesel. I cried and I've not had a diesel for five years. I drive a diesel. <laughs> I feel sorry for you then. You won't yeah. be eating Dominic pizza much longer. <laughs> no, it's gone you, from like you can keep 67 pounds on a tank to about, I think it was 89 quid to fill it up now. Absolutely crazy. Mate, I put, I put 45 in my little beastie and it was full the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I, like, yeah, man. Love it. Yeah, I banned San, San Lu from time being, but that's a personal matter yeah uh, yeah we we got quite a good relationship at our group with haven't we martin um yeah we, 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 with us. we tend to get on really well with some Lou, to be honest um but yeah helpful. yeah but not yeah but we we're just over a thousand Kuma yeah. mod over who what what are you on now matt it's oh it's crazy i know yeah, there was we're, we're, we're like it, small fry compared to most of these guys yeah you know, that's why we can allow Matt to sit there eating pizza all night. Yeah. <laughs> nobody watches us. <laughs> I'm the mascot. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that, that's where the Soval mascots come from, isn't it? Well, that Domino's. Yeah. So, well, on the plus side, this won't be a miserable assembly period time tonight because I don't actually need to put any screws in this. You and watch it open that and all the screws will be missing. <laughs> Charlotte, he said, someone from Charlotte sent me a message and said, am I missing some screws? And that's all I've heard from them for three days. <laughs> nice. Messaging back saying, yeah, you're missing the printer to go with it. <laughs> 70, so Akuma Mods' is group has hit 75,000. Oh, that's good going. Well done, mate. What a result. And and like you've got like quite a small mod team as well. It's 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 mad how that is like run so well. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. I should really read the instructions because I have to put send stickers. seventy of seventy thousand of them our way. <laughs> I, I I had to put stickers on this because I have really bad memory. Um and I couldn't remember what P V or S V meant because P V means measured and S V means target. Don't know whose language that is, but <laughs> it is on the Sunday one. 
<laughs> just yeah, make three change. years. Get on. Congratulations for tomorrow. That's that's awesome, man. So oh, we're, just... we're coming up to a year. We are about a year now. Sure, I've aged about six years since it though. So yeah, we're... Well, Martin's actually seventy-eight, aren't you, Martin? Seventy-eight on on yeah. a, a normal day. If I'm having a bad day, I'm more like about ninety. Good day okay, on the lap. Seventy-one, mm. maybe. <laughs> yeah, you never the hardest paper round in Devon, mate. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm only twenty-two. It's all those FDOs we took apart. That's what it is. Filament hole. <clears throat> So you get loads of these little plastic bits like we did on the S1. The little the, bunk there. Yeah, the little yeah. guys. Yeah, not that the I've little rings. And... It's quite nice, though. I do quite like the design on yeah. the S2. Well, it's funky. If you look at it, it's 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 actually not much difference in size, really. It's a little bit higher because it's more curved. Yeah, they've just taken the, the uh, radius, haven't they? But 100k. I don't remember answering a question to join that group. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, we 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 sort of um, we let anyone into it. Was sort of like keep spam down to a me minimum, which seems to be working. Well, yeah, especially when the uh, the main person who runs the group is actually a spam bot. <laughs> You're just salty because you didn't win. To be honest, I went to bed when that any cubic competition was happening, and then I just see Matt post Martin spamming. I was like, oh, Christ, here we go. <laughs> I fell asleep reading all his comments. <laughs> well, the context <laughs> was to spam it, and it was one of those screenshot ones, so I spammed it. And I won it. <laughs> And I ain't get away. There were like 3,000 comments, and it took me five minutes to get to the bottom of Martin's. Yeah. That's because I've done 2,900 of them. <laughs> that, that, that was an interesting screenshot you sent me because I didn't see anyone else's name on it at all. Just yours. Since I've done this filament rack, like today, finished it off, I can't believe what other, like, the, the colors I've actually got. I'm so excited to try some, like, yeah, you've got some well cool colours in that. I love this. This is the quite funky. This is the um apple green. That's quite cool. And hang on, I'll actually show you what it looks like when it's printed. So this is Herbert. See you later. Have a great evening. Have a great day. So this is what the uh G Tech prints like. It's a really nice green, I think. That is nice. Comes out that. so nice, the green and um she sent me this yeah, I, as a Christmas present. They're nice. blue. That's nice. I, I love GTEC. I've been using GTEC for about three years. Um, yeah. And the giant arm as well. And uh, I've never had really any issues with their filament. It's always the name of the filament, Martin, that I always ask, that I told you about when we very first started off. Oh, I can um, never remember what it's called. Ah, uh, the marble. Um, yeah. Oh, don't use oh. I actually no, I... found. I I didn't realise I had a, a spool of poly maker. Zero. Oh, you've got a spool of poly. Yeah. Yeah, zero or zero, isn't it? It's there. It's teal, isn't it? It's there. Um, no, I won't. Um, but I am. I'm really. I can't wait to get these ones done. These three D QFs. After you saying they're quite nice, and I spoke to James at Honey Badger, and he says that they print really nice. So. I, I love mine. I done a um a spool tower. I had the uh turquoise green color, and yeah, it was epic. I loved it. I'd, I'd recommend their filament definitely. And it's not that has expensive. anyone tried that um dual color filament yet? No, no. Uh, hardly any of that in the UK thing. other than we've got four cake, weeks to be here. Yeah, four weeks from um. I'm not going to mention any names, but there is a few companies that will have it here. Um, but they will. Uh, Eron have it coming soon. I've been yeah. guaranteed that. Um, yeah. We've got Tim and is it Timory, Timory, whatever it's called. Timory. They they've just released um, theirs, Four. and it'll be here in about two to three weeks. Four colours, and they look nice. Um, um, 
I know fr 3D Jake do stock some, but it's very expensive. It's like thirty pound a roll, I think. Plus, um, more. Plus more now, is it? Yeah, so it's about thirty-four, I think. So this is the. Um, so that's the original one off the S1. This is the S2, so it's a little bit bigger. Okay. I wonder if Not you can much. use the same block. Um, probably could, to be honest. But is it the same fitment? Yeah. Yeah. You get away but, with the same block. They've just refined well, the case. We were when we were talking before before coming on here, they were we were talking about their new T3 Terminator. And I'm really yeah. interested in it because for £125. You can't go I wrong. I like the look of it. I, I do like the look of it. It looks nuts. <laughs> I just Until... like weird nuts printers. So we have a nice little. Wonder if it had worked. Oh, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> oh, oh, touch going to turn on as well. Hang on, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh I like the way it has a disco. Look, it's like yeah, I'm alive. That's, That's why I plug my take my meds, to be honest. <laughs> I tell you what, Carl, if you take your meds now, oh, which that raining. would look like an S1. <laughs> oh, it's really raining. <laughs> it would stop spinning. I, so we I had like a storm here the other day, actually, and it was so nice. To, like, to be honest with you, out of all the dryers that are out there at the minute, that is my favourite design at the moment. The yeah, S2, I like I just like the shape of it. So, we, I have mentioned about this one, but I actually really like this. And because we live in the UK, we don't actually need any electronic ones. No. Because this, this is from Flash Forge. And Unless you live in a... It is, it is a little like bit me. pricey for what it is. And you can make your own. But this yeah. is like... <clears throat> well, no, what? Right. In a minute, tic tag, isn't they? They've, they've, I've they've had got filling a, in uh, here for about. They've got a dryer out at the moment that you print yourself. You can download Eight everything weeks. off of their um, GitHub and make your own dryer. Yeah. Um, they design their own, haven't they? So you can build it yourself. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's options out there now, which is getting quite nice. And yeah, so yeah, and I think I think for the UK. All right, they, they are good, they do work, but like I've had this running for about eight weeks and it's 23 percent, so yeah. that's hardly anything. And it's 20, just under 21 degrees in there, and that just sits by itself and it's quite it's quite tidy. I like yeah, it, I, I like it. It's simple. It's very <laughs> simple, like that, that, guys. And you've got five million rolls of filament, and you're gonna need like five million of them, yeah. Or do yeah. what I do, and when I'm printing with that printer back there, I actually put six rolls of filament in the bottom to dry out while it's printing overnight. Oh, in your um, in me enclosed one, because yeah. it gets about 25, 26 degrees in there in the winter. See, yeah, I mean, I've, the way I've got mine set up, I've, I think you've seen it before. I've, I've put it on Instagram and that, and I actually feed direct from my dryer into my um enclosure yeah, yeah. straight to my hot end or if i've got a bowel and it will go straight to the extruder um, so if i read this basically, properly it says double click to turn on and off so now i know <laughs> i oh, basically take one while i'm printing one right guys i am gonna have to love you and leave you no worries hey, matt you. pleasure to uh, see you i'll give you guys here. a message in a bit all right no worries, mate. Matt, Matt's guilty for making a lot of the weird and wonderful models that we do. <laughs> so, weird. you know. Just, yeah, just weird. <laughs> <laughs> just weird. <laughs> but no worries, dude. I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, yeah, don't have too much fun. Oh, yeah. we always will. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in a so bit. See you later, Matt. So now it says pull the filament out. So it's out. Right, click set to switch menu set so what's pv mean oh, hang on pv means <coughs> mint. so it's 41 degrees in there at the moment no way that's fine if it is i tell you what i've not even hit heat yet unless i have <laughs> yeah i have actually it's hot uh i was gonna say so, that's quick 
I've actually set that on for some reason because I'm a bit of a donut. Okay. Oh, can you hear that little noise it makes? Listen. Not quite. Ready? You know, like your yeah. iPhone when you tap the screen, it goes beep, beep, beep. Oh, does it? It's got yeah. like that juddery noise going on. Listen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. I turn the microphone down now. Tidy. So basically, like they've robbed a, an iPhone board and put it in there. Well, yeah, because when on the S1, you, you're constantly clicking, aren't you? Yeah. But with this, I suppose with the noise, you know that you've... Um, it. Yeah, and it's it's took a reading. No, that's cool. Plug in power and then click to turn down or toggle. So you're meant to be able to choose which filaments, don't you? Yeah. Oh, material. Oh, there you go. PLA. Hang on. No. Okay, so time. So I've got five hours. So I must have set for six minutes. Six hours. So you can go all the way through to 24, I believe. 20 30. Interesting. Tell you what, turn this light off and see if is that better? Is it seen better like that? Or is it oh, we can't see the writing, it's showing the colour. So I can go up to 30 hours. Oh hang on. No, I've pushed the button again, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, so 40 hours, 48 hours. Okay, so you can go all the way up to 50, 60. What do you reckon is 99 hours? 99 hours. Yeah, I'm gonna find out. recycle back after that, surely. 98, 99. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just leave it on a thousand hours then. Um, <laughs> filament. <laughs> PLA, PET G, TPU. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. ABS, PA, PC, PLA. I am going to say one amount, thing, though. Their, their display doesn't display a T very good. It looks like right. a, well, it looks like a baby R, but bigger. <laughs> and the G doesn't look like a G because it just looks like a C with a, a little bit more of a curl. Ah, uh, right. So it's just a okay. little bit further around. So if I put, oh, put, so yeah. So if you if you don't touch it again quickly, it changes. Okay, so. 53 degrees for PLA, 48 for PETG to begin with, 55 for TPU, ABS is 55, 65 for PA, PC 65. That's not bad, so it must go. That is really hot, really <laughs> A lot quicker than the original ones. So I actually fitted two blower fans to mine and wired it into the, the connection. And because they're blower fans and they're cheap, they sound like a jumbo jet taking off. Yeah. When it's powering up, it's loud. It's. I I've done similar. I think I use the um, hot end cooling fans and, and print in the adapter, and that was the same. With in the adapter, it actually echoed. Okay, so the hinge doesn't allow too too much of a. You know where you'd think it would fall back you know like these ones oh that's good because those ones go too far back yeah so this 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 is what happens when you've got one of these so uh, uh, any headphone users i apologize so if you had this that's what happens and if Just you have it on a stand or on anything it wants to fall off the stand yeah this apparently so that actually stops there i think that's quite good yeah i like that that's cool. It, I think it would have been nice if there was maybe a magnet there, you know, just to shut or, it. A cushion, even. Yeah. So a rubber just, seal. Like, yeah. Um, so you've, you've got, got one. Plunk. You've got one hole there. You've got a couple of holes somewhere. But Pat, oh, you can take the legs off as well if you want. So that might oh, be good. a good idea. Um, mm -hmm. but I someone mentioned to me about these dryers that um they've drilled a few holes in them actually because what happens I was gonna is say, they, you've only got one feed hole, haven't you? Yeah, but see, I'll yeah, probably keep the hole. filament and come into it the other way. But 
Uh, see, so it's more out the front. It has to. It actually moves quite freely as well. The last, yeah, but, the last one was a bit loose, but yeah, there's only one hole, so any to humidity. Me where that hole is, it wants to go up, doesn't it? Yeah, do you know what? There's it's actually quite is there's not a lot of resistance from pulling it. You know, like with okay. the S1, you'd have to give it a good yank. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay. I think because it is very similar to the bottom of the S1, you know, where it's curved, but it's a bit more of a curve on this. Yeah, and it's got the is it on it's still on the twin roller inside? Yes. Oh, yeah. I try not to burn myself, but yeah, don't burn that's... yourself. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. Very similar, but it's deeper. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot deeper. It's got a better arc on it, isn't it? Yeah. But I tell you what, you can feel the heat off that. And I like the fact they've put the tape on, so I'm guessing to maybe possibly make it's it a little bit more. It. Yeah. Well, they're the heating elements there as well. Ooh, so that's not bad. I quite like that, actually. I, I really do like that that dryer overall. Um. No, I'd say out, light, out of all of them, it's my favourite. It's a bit lighter, and I'll tell you what, I reckon you could even have it lying down to feed filament if you really wanted to. You know, if you're limited with space, you could. Yeah. Interesting. It does no, look... It's, so far, it's definitely my favourite. I'm definitely going to have to get myself one. See, 100%. They, do, they do two colours, don't they? Black and white. Yeah. Yeah. I like the black because i like the black um, it doesn't get dirty like these that yeah they tend to sort of pick up muck Everything. quick and like I'm, I'm so glad like my cr200b i have to clean that on a regular basis because yeah. as soon as i you know if you put a bit of glue on the glass beds guarantee yeah. your your fingerprints are be everywhere on it uh -oh, so it's... i'm actually putting in some galaxy red from eron which i'll be honest it's i look after my filament I don't put it in yeah. a bag very often, and but it prints fine. So I'm going to put this in, and I'm going to print tomorrow because I have a, I have a. Uh, so, so Liz, who was in before Pez, Liz, um, um, there's something going on. There's, there's a little secret print going tomorrow, so I'm going to be part of that, um, which I'm quite excited to see. I've not actually opened the file yet to see how it goes. Uh, yeah. Hi, Dom Scott. So Dom Scott, your I'm printing with Eron Rainbow Silk now. Oh, awesome. awesome. Is that the metallic one you've got, Liz? Because I know you like the, the metallic one, and I tried to get some sort of deal in Canada. And, God, it's expensive in Canada, you know. Like, Yeah. Um, do you I've know Andrew from... Sorry? Go on, Andrew. Andrew from... Uh, oh, my friend that I was... Uh helping on instagram for a long time he's based in canada and he was saying the same the prices are insane yeah so i spoke to uh benley um who who kindly actually sent me a few bottles of resin and um oh, oh yes the metallic the bronze part looks amazing for land speed is awesome so awesome. um so um she sent me the link for the um oh what is it aliexpress store in canada and yeah i'm glad i was sat down because i nearly fell over it was <laughs> like you know i don't mind paying 20 pound for a spool of filament it doesn't you know that's normal for me really We're quite I don't mind, it. but like oh god i think it was it must have been like about 40 pounds for us yeah when it buy it when it, it was, sort of gets over the 30 quid mark it's got to be something special for me otherwise i'm a bit like yeah now nah. So I was talking to uh, Eron today, actually, as well about resin, because they were asking about more people seem to be resin printing now. And I, I kind of agree with them that it's getting more main, main line for people to get because you can buy one for nearly 120 yeah, it's, pounds. It's you becoming get, more accessible, isn't it, now? The prices are dropping. Everybody's more... Yeah, moving and, towards that for, for detail wise. And I I had a mono, I've I've had my mono S for about eight months and it is small, but it prints really nice for, for a 2K screen. Would I print a full statue in resin? Hell no. Uh, Not at all. I, I think I, I think have, to justify that it would be too much money. 
So I have in the past, but it's like yeah, it gets expensive quick. You only need a couple of fails, and you're like, oh, here we go. You know, it's so, so I've got. So I did this in Eron Grey. I think it's just standard resin from them, or is it water washable? So it's just standard resin. I think it was so standard, it, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so that's 500 gram bottles they come with. So this is I, I I absolutely love this. I think this this is printed absolutely incredible. Like like the supports, yeah, we... the pre-supports they've put in and and I, I asked them how big the holes are and they're six millimeters because I want to learn to actually drain my models properly on resin because it's not easy. I, yeah. I go for 2.5 because I think that would be better. But You're this, right, uh, free this doms. Wow, absolutely We've, stunning. I, I used to hollow all mine. Anything tall that I used to do or big, should I say, I used to hollow them. Um, and, mm. and it does reduce the price quite drastically. And then Boba Fett, look at that. It's... That's quality, I like that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've got this, that. So that's two models, and I'm potentially going to get one more out of it. And that's out of 500 grams of resin. I always get problems. Whenever I see, like, Carl's resin prints, I just want to paint them. I can't help myself. Every time Carl shows me, like, these resin busts and things, I'm like, oh, I get the paintbrushes out now. Well, no, what we, need to, what we need to do, we need to do this project then that we want to do with this. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I think... so, so Liz is um, part of the Maker Deck uh, mod team. Um, she's worked with Chris Brulo for far too long now, for years. <laughs> so she's really like, and um, she's actually got a Focus Odin as a first printer. And Quality. Love it. She loves it. And love it. So living in Canada, I think uh is it Pix and Dude, wasn't it, Liz, that sorted it out for you and got it all there for you? So this is my first actual print that I did on my Mono X. I didn't do a test, I didn't do any frozen tests or whatever. So I literally did this and I did it live on Maker Deck. And I went to bed and I woke up at like i think about four past five in the morning and went on maker deck and seen <laughs> that it failed and i ran out as best as i can crying. with crutches and that and <laughs> just went to turn my computer off and went back to bed and cried till seven o'clock in the morning and then i was going to bin it but then martin and all the the, the discord side from maker deck were all like no 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 do this do that so i am going to do what everyone says i am going to laser to laser a scene for it and have it as if it's crashed yeah uh, dude it's got to so, be done so it will be could be like just you know, stick it to that you just just print the tips and stick it to that and put the tips on the other side because <laughs> oh, because i didn't get that brave because that, that that's heavy <laughs> that's like ridiculous like heavy that's probably why it failed to be honest i didn't have enough supports so then i did this next day on there and that weighs nothing like yeah like that it's heavier than that and yeah. the moon knight yeah moon knight's heavier so it but the the, the detail is like incredible it's done, it? It is like, done, it? You just don't realize until you actually have a resin printer. Like, you see all these people putting all these amazing prints online. You're like, oh, I wish. Oh, I so wish. <laughs> and then when you've got one, you're like, oh, this is amazing. I must admit, I was like full pledge going down the resin route. And since I got this Cobra the, not long back, um, I'm actually falling back in love with FDM again even more because that Cobra seems to print so well. Yeah, and do so, you know what? I think it will be. I think that that area, that small FDM printer, will be like a hot topic, hot hot topic for all companies. I think at the moment. So Creality, I've had the end of two pro. You know, it's only one sixty by one sixty, well one six five, one six five by one eighty, which is yeah, I think small. it is one eighty, isn't it? Something like one sixty, one eighty. Yeah. So you've got the mini mini plus from Prusa you've got 
because Sun Lu got their one coming out, the T3. T3. 250 yeah. millimeters a second, which is an end of three. Minga had their uh, uh, magician, didn't they come out? Yeah. I really, do you know what? I really like the Minga look. The magicians, the. the, the I've the, got the Magician X and um, they look the, nice. the smaller one. And I'm really impressed with it. I, I love it. Um, I was thinking of swapping it out and then I started printing again and now I can't. <laughs> I really like it. shipwreck sculpture today. Good idea for failed prints, though. Yeah. And that, that's it, isn't it? It's, you know, I've normally got a bin here full of crap that's failed. <laughs> and like, you know, I'm not into painting, I'm not into all this. But, you know, I have said to Martin that I will this year at one point invest in a compressor and i will get a, a i will get something to paint with and I we do a stream we do a live yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. because i've actually ordered some clear resin and i've ordered some alcohol inks to make me own colored resin because i think yeah. that would be fun that would I be think cool would, i think it would be good for some content it would be quite good to like show that an well. amateur like me that can do it um uh, what yeah. i usually do i've, I've got uh or generally I keep all my fails and have a fail box and I do quite a lot of scenery pieces. So what I tend to do is use a lot of the fails and chop them up and use them for rubble and stuff like that. And then yeah. texture paint over them and, and you lose the fact that it's actually a really bad fail anyway. So I had, um, so obviously these, these are the little um, cleats, the single cleats for the filament yeah. holder from record as you can tell because it's got its name on anyway so i actually powered up my focus for the first time in three months so blue was on the ender 3s1 that was on the focus i had a layer shift so i just kicked it off the printer started it again i think it's my fault because i kicked the printer um but considering i've not turned that on for three months they're great it they just, are great machines it prints so well and knowing that that little button on the side as well where you can push it in now yeah <laughs> yeah and, it's always and, helpful that was so amusing to start with everybody was like yeah how do i get it in <laughs> and i'm so excited for their launch of their next printer because yeah yeah that, that's well, only I'm, they're gonna be they they're going to grow as they are I'm still still excited about the laser coming to the uk mate when that gets here i well, still can't on, wait mine's on a boat <laughs> yeah mine, so, mine's still not anywhere near coming to the uk so <laughs> so i have so i've got a laser there which is my atom stack i've put it on the wall because why not i've got space is better than having nothing there uh, I won't show you what's inside the enclosure because obviously we were going live and it's a bomb site in there because I've been lasering for like three days on the straight. Um, so it's a bomb site in there. Martin's seen it. It's disgusting and I'm quite it's ashamed of it. And I've shot it. So I, I'm not ashamed of it being that bad. But anyway. It's pretty much like my printing house at the minute. Is it? It's a straight. So I've got a focus laser coming actually. And this happened yesterday. So so the focus is a long the focus laser is long focus so it has a bigger gap from the material so i can't remember the length so i've got a short focus one from um two trees so when your wood is a bit bowed this is magnetized and it sticks to the laser this moved and you could probably see what's happened yeah you burn it yeah, I've melted it. Yeah, you burn it. So um, now it's. I'm going to probably drill it out and probably. Can you not it tape it on there as well? No, because if you tape it on there and you don't have enough movement, it's going to move it. Yeah. What off. about resin it? No, I've, 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 I've sent two trees a message. I'm going to. I've asked them for some spare ones because, ah, you know, and obviously it's got the hole because they've got an air assist unit coming soon which i will say that that laser is only a five watt output that's a 5.5 and the two tree does better than that by a long shot and i mean like it's smaller in in, in size 
but my god like if i had a bit more length from this cable like these so these i lasered myself and the, the car it, it, it's clean like i yeah it's fantastic like it does it so well and it and it's it's what three, 300 by 300 so it's a foot by a foot yeah in size which is still enough to play with you can do quite a bit on a foot so i i was cutting at 100 millimeters a second at 85 percent power i did the same on the atom stack and the two trees went through in about two and a half times that took about three three and a half so really? the difference is nuts that is crazy the have bamboo, you seen no i haven't i haven't seen that yet i have yes and um um who's got it edutex got one. Oh, is he has 3d nerd got one because edutech is printing stuff in like an hour that should be taking 18 hours on a normal fdm printer the edge of tech, no yeah. mate you want to see the print quality really it, it's mind-blowing like wow so you know the ankler pr uh, printer that's on kickstarter yeah have yeah. you seen their filament system now on there the v6 no i haven't sort of revisited for a bit to be honest he's got one oh yeah. yes is, that, is so that the what we we're talking about no no so the v yeah. so the ankler one you know the the the, the the super fast one from that big company that wants to use Kickstarter. Yeah. So they're, yeah. they're one of their, so they've got a filament kit now that means you can print six filaments at once. Oh, uh, so like filaments. an MMO sort of yeah, thing. So, yeah. All right, Kieran. Um, so that's one of the pledge things now on their Kickstarter. So this Bamboo right. one, my God, that, that, it looks an amazing printer and it's no, five or six spools on the top you can store. So really obviously not. it's keeping it dry. It's doing what, it, but yeah. like the speed is nuts. Get on. Like no, I'll, have to, uh, I'll, I'll look that up tomorrow while I'm uh, busy. I'll send, I'll, send, I'll send you some of the edge of tech stuff. It's nuts. Like mm. 57 minutes. He posted on Twitter, didn't he actually about it? 57 minutes let me find it because <laughs> you, sh you shouldn't be able to do a vase in 57 minutes no, that's mental. mental like he's he is really loving it like the so AMS. This, this aurora dragon took 59 minutes 59 minutes wow really that's just um, putting a like, that's putting the gauntlet down in it really when you're getting things like 59 look, minute dragons look, oh i'll turn yeah, the volume down <laughs> like, like look it's moving look at that wow that's nuts isn't it and it does it looks really nice like it's that's definitely going to be one to sort of keep an eye on then yeah because definitely. like it's got support there you go look so about to try something crazy 30 different tank track pieces and polymaker 3d black tpu on this carbon and so he's doing tank tracks on it in tpu wow and that's it's took, as well. this will be the longest print i've done on it right <laughs> there you go look so he did this he did that on the printer and then he did it on the s1 didn't he as well and it like just obliterated it just <laughs> like, no, so by time it, 90 percent it had done like it, it just left the s1 trailing that's not thousand dollars for the carbon rail system with ams but what's a thousand dollar what 800 pounds yeah it's that's gonna be lot. That's a lot it's of dollar. Lot. Yeah, but it's a lot of printer for a lot of money. That mm. so, so like prusas, yeah. People always whinge about prusas. Yeah. They prusa that. If you if you're in a business, you want a printer that's going to work, and you want a printer that's going to be able to be abused for 365 days a year and not break down. I yeah. I can abuse all my printers in here, and I guarantee you, I've broken every single one of them without even trying. 
Yeah, but you break everything anyway. You're just good at it. I, I'm well trained at breaking things. <laughs> That's why what what we do when we want to test a printer on under the he- hot end, we just send it cold. So it I've, for like three days. The only printer I've not actually broken is my Focus. My Focus, I... Did I have go wrong with the Focus? No, I didn't. I, actually, it was me on disassembly. I split the ribbon cord. So, like, my CR10 Smart, I can't break it because it's crap anyway. (laughs) Impossible to break. So, the fact that I potentially have the only one that's actually got a level bed is amazing. So, I think that means it's, like, limited edition and it should, like, cost more. Like, (laughs) I know a lot of people whinge about the Ender 7, like, price-wise. Like, that was a a $1,000 when it was released, wasn't it? I think it was, yeah. So, that for $1,000, the Ender 7. You can buy the Ender 7 for like £350 now. Yeah. And I yeah. really like my Ender 7, and I really want to like it more. Well, if you think about but, it, when the the CR10 Smart came out, that was up there, wasn't it? And what would you prefer? Ender 7. No, no, the, the Smart 2, this new one. Smart Pro. Smart yeah. Pro. I, I would have the Smart Pro because I actually really do. I know it's nothing special, but I really like this hot end. I really do. Yeah. You know, it I know this this is a dodgy one. It's got some faults, which I will mod myself, but it prints the the the, the end of 3S1. It's a lot of money. That's that's what five hundred dollars. Yeah. That's yeah, a, lot, a lot of money. a lot of money for an end of three. Yeah. But my yeah. god, it prints nice. And they've got the pro. And they've got the plus. And what really annoys me is why don't they just release the, the, the pro and then the plus together instead of having this baseline one? Yeah. Instead of why, I, why is there gonna be three? Why why do they why have they got I've I've got two of those screens? I've actually got a touch screen from the end of two as well. Uh, and the end of three S V2. <laughs> and it won't work on there because the firmware is the wrong one. Like <laughs> the, the the thought's gone into that the design they've, they've really thought about it and i like it because like it's very similar to the minga it's very similar to what you are in box yeah. the other day cubic the so similar yeah so it's the o1 pro is the same it's got the same guts it's a nice yeah. frame the, even the focus focus is a little more slimmer it hasn't got I, as much you know i love but the it, focus i just think it's been so well thought out it does exactly what they advertised, but it does it well. It just keeps doing it and doing it and doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I've had, I've had f- things that annoy me on it, like a park call and Fanago. Or, or yeah. th- 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 there is a weakness, though, on the nozzle. Let's be perfectly honest, right? Because it's a volcano style nozzle and there is like millimeters of milli, milli, millimeters of gap. When you go to change a nozzle, it snaps it on. Yeah, it, it yeah, snapped yeah. off, and that is the only thing. But I have an issue with. But that do you, just means yeah, yeah, I can't do it yeah. easier now. Yeah. I've learned the lesson. It was down for what four days because getting the, the the parts in the UK on Amazon sometimes are a nightmare. Pain in the but then bottom. once they stripped it down, replaced it, it, it was back up and running. Like you sent me a part, didn't you? Yeah. Um, and I, I you know, and... eventually, yeah. But like. They're cheap now. You can get the parts. Yeah. You oh, know, you can get them. Everything's available. It's just it prints. It prints so nice. Like, like we're talking meant to be talking about this. It's at fifty-three degrees and sixty percent humidity. But it's not noisy either. Like you know, with the fans we've got in the S one. I was going to say, my like, mine. I, you could hear it across when I was live streaming. It done my head I, in. Like when I had my printers in the house in winter and had one of the dryers on, my wife was like, "No, no, get it out." Like, why not? It's not that noisy. It's just like having your hair dryer on, love. <laughs> but yeah, for four hours of a hair dryer on, they do get annoyed. Yeah, but they do get annoyed. I like it. It's very, it's I very like that. Personally, that is my favourite design on the market at the moment. I just yeah. I like the shape. I like the screen. I like I like the fact that it's green when it's on and it goes yeah. red when it's not. 
which is nice, which is, you know, a visual thing for you. So you don't yeah, have to... By the way, it got an LED going around so you can sit there and watch it. And Like, the yeah. amount of times this has turned off on me and I thought it was still on. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. They are but, annoying. Uh, they're, but, they're good dryers and they, they do work if you adapt them and put the fan in and everything else. They're, they're brilliant. Yeah. But, yeah, and it, it doesn't take much, does it, really, to mod it? Well, it took me... Yeah. It took me... A, Took hour. about an hour to remix that mount, didn't it, for the fan? Yeah. And it worked. And you know, and then we done the the, the, the only soldering, and it was the the um fan wire, wasn't it? Yeah, onto the power. And you don't even need yeah. to put a button that or anything in there. So you know, it's yeah. if you really wanted to, you could, you could you could probably turn that into so similar to that if you wanted to. You could print it, like you say. You know. You've got Thingy Bob. Um, they've designed one, haven't they? Ooh, Bob. Tig, yeah, Tig, the, the belt kit. Can't think of their names oh, now. Oh, uh, Tig Tag. Yeah, Tick so they, they, they've Tick designed Tick. one. They've designed one that you can be able to print and just buy the components for it. Yeah, you and, can go on their GitHub and download all the files and print it out. And then... Right. As Kieran's just asked. Ticket, but, oh, so... This, so I've been printing on Maker Deck for a while, and the last couple of days I've been like printing on there with these parts. So that is my filament, Kieran. It, do you know what? I'm happy with it. I really like it. I like it that much. I'm going to print some more bits, and I'm going to get some more pipes. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to put the filament dryers on it, and I'm going to figure out a way that I can use it to maybe put my lasers on. So it's out of the way. Use Maybe. the white top to make the rest of the brackets because you've got loads of white there out of everything. <laughs> yeah, but white gets dirty. But <laughs> I, I'm going to actually make a little bit smaller one and put resin on it. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. You know, keep the resin out of the way of the, the sunlight, like they say, which, to be honest, I, my my windows are blacked out in the shed. So yeah, sure. my family can't see me as well, which really makes me happy. <laughs> see mine are all stored in my um enclosure actually so um i've got a compartment in there that keeps all my resin so and like obviously with not many people uh, i know not many people have seen it but like so there's my resin printers there so i've got my, my mono x my harlot plus my mono se i've got elegu mercury and i've got a uh, washing cure from anicubic like I've got all bits up there for like resin, so like cleaning. I've got like a little tub up there and screws, and I've got toolboxes with like resin kits in it and all that. So like if I'm resin printing, I just grab that because it's got gloves in that I need. It's got scrapers that I need. I actually brought the secret grow lab. Yes, that would. And Kieran keeps encouraging me to dig down instead of build up. <laughs> yeah. I, Do like a printing uh, cave. You could so be like. I, your own so lab. I get bored at night because obviously I, I, I have a chronic pain condition. So I actually ordered a blackhead removal kit off Amazon for one pound fifty nine for my resin printers. Because <laughs> it's got all those little attachments, it's got little spiky bits, it's got little sharp bits. And I you know, I'm loving my resin printing, like it's fun. It's like fun, yeah. I, I, I love doing my laser and in between <laughs> me printing because that's slow you know Personally, one of them I, one of them I takes three hours for, <laughs> take three and a half hours four hours just for one of them mm. yeah. i did three of them in resin in an hour yeah that's it it's game they changer failed. they failed because obviously the weight and it was done on my harlot plus and i just wanted something yeah. successful but in between doing my fdm i'm lasering and i'm resin printing together and I don't look at the electric bill because I'm not bothered about it. <laughs> I, I just can't wait till I move and I can get set up properly then and we can start having if some I, real... If I stuck a one millimetre nozzle on all my printers, that supply there would mean I would have to buy more and she would divorce me quicker. <laughs> like, that's the only wall I could actually put that on. Mm. But the problem is I have a door right there yeah so I you leave might, it open she can get one of those get one villain. of those separation curtains no because no. then when you open the door she ain't gonna see it 
Well, to be honest, I'm thinking about getting one of those, like, um, you know, like the, the, the illusion things that you put up and it looks like the lake or something. <laughs> Do a scan. Where on it? <laughs> Do yeah, a scan like, and yeah. hang it in the door. <laughs> I suppose someone's got a big scanner or a big laser yeah. uh, printer that could print off a big colour picture of me on there. <laughs> I just think I'm stood at the door like that, just waving. <laughs> Constant. <laughs> Should be on the phone to you. You've been stood there for twelve hours. <laughs> I'm in traction, and you've just stood there watching me for all this time, look. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, some of it is. Some of it's been open. Most of it hasn't. But I've got yeah. a lot of white hair because that was from like Christmas for lithophane and stuff like that. The family for present. To be honest, I think my a big majority of my uh, stocks white and grey. Because uh, the greys I paint and the whites I use for lifts and different things and paint and um, so those are probably the most common colours I ever ever stock up on. Yes, I, I I've actually been looking at a projector actually because I keep seeing them on Amazon for cheap because I want to put a projector screen there so I can watch sports. <laughs> and then I, I can literally turn this light off and it'd be like a movie room. The kids of the boys they're like, let's do it, Dad. Mama never know. When, when we move, I've actually got a 60 inch plasma to go on the wall in the print house. <laughs> I'm like so excited. Like, yeah, we just, we just keep watching it. We're late, wait for it to drop. And then when we know your mum's in work, we'll order it to be delivered when she's <laughs> And we're just like, I could put a screen there and pull down over my filament and she'd never see it. I think I'd that be more a bad plan instead of the projector. That ain't a bad plan, actually. You pull the screen down, pretend it's a back screen for for live streams. Or I could just buy like a green wall, you know, the green screens, and just hang it yeah. there. And she'll yeah. never see it. Never and know. She probably doesn't even know what Twitch is. So I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send her a link later. <laughs> like, so you have no idea. <laughs> but I doubt she will she will pop in this weekend and make sure I'm still alive. Yeah. Like, but you know, the fact is she's Tactile. gonna see that. Hello, Matt German. But yeah. That's, <laughs> that keep me going for a week. For a week or two. But what time are we on? Quarter to nine. But I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to as well, funnily I, enough. I've so, not uh, seen my I've not seen my kids for about an hour and a half, and I don't even know if the wife and the daughter's home yet. So I've could... not even had a shower yet. I come straight from work. I'm I'm stinky. I've got, I've a got shower. Out You're going back to work tomorrow. You don't need to shower. So, but but in conclusion, <laughs> I like this design. I, I like really, it a lot. It, it, it ooh, it's very sensitive as well though. But it doesn't get too hot. You Until can, you put your fingers inside. Yeah, inside. That can't do that. Good. That gets hot. But it's nice. I like it. It's simplistic. Mr. German, they do these in white, so you'll be all right. They do. And they look nice. I do like them. I like the screen. How long will that annoy me for? I don't know, till it's dark in here one night and kind of watch the projector. I think you can actually turn that circling LED off from what I'd seen previous. I'm more concerned by the fact that it's actually on 98 hours to go still. <laughs> Like, you know, electricity is, like, not cheap anymore. Oh, hang on. Look. LEDs off. There it is. See? You could, yeah, I thought you could. But I like LEDs on. Yeah. So that's good. But, yeah, I like it. I actually like the design. I do like yeah, it. Yeah, I'm definitely... Oh, look, it's doing a different pattern now as well. That's cool. I'm, I'm going to stick... It's absolutely peeing it down. I'm going to go stick a bag of filament out there. Yes, Kieran, Kieran was the one actually. I couldn't think it was <coughs> mentioned about holes in it. So I'm actually going to go stick one of these filaments out there. Put it in a bucket. I'm just going to put it in the rain, mate. It's pissing down like big time. Like, yeah, I know. It's I nasty. I keep looking for leaks in here because I'm petrified. It'll, it'll drown. Like, <laughs> ridiculous. But I'm going to stick one out there. I am going to do a little test and I want to be an idiot and do it. I do it. Get it and I might have some hair one day because of it but till then but i actually like the design like kieran kieran lives in australia it's hot there it's clammy it's Love it. It's it i was but out there for a year it's stunning that that that's what it's made for for people that live in places like that and in florida or chicago Texas. or 
parts of Canada where it drops to like minus fifty one night, and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And Texas through the winter. That it's that a over race, but they need to see. But they don't need to see anyone. But I like <laughs> my children though. Not all at once, but I like one at a time. You will need to Open find and close find lid and to see yeah. it drops five percent. Mm, nice. I'll be honest, Kieran. I'm likely to knock it over every hour I touch it because <laughs> I, I like. But I would have come on earlier, but I actually super glued three fingers together. <laughs> to be truthful, I'm going to the end of Carl's garden because he'll knock it off and it'll roll out the garden by the end of the night. So K Kieran's Kieran loves clocks ring. So um, I made this for my wife for work. It goes on a desk. She uh, lost one of the magnets, so I, I restuck them in. And I thought I put it in properly, and as I pushed it down, yeah, super glue got all over my fingers. So like, I can't get under this nail or this nail, and these two are like stuck like that because I didn't realise. So I would have. It took me like forty minutes to get my nails free. <laughs> what happens? You, you, you get old, you become more stupid, and you keep doing it again and again. And you just forget more and more. To be honest, you, 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 know, you just forgot you'd done it last time. You got to try it again. I actually do it with clear resin normally, but I haven't got any. <laughs> That's probably a good idea though, because I'll probably get it all over me. But anyway, it's been it's this, this has just been a quick stream. We're gonna have to, we're gonna yeah. do one this week, hopefully, and maybe have a bit of a invite the likes of like Kieran on and we'll invite Matt in. Matt can come on and do a bit of like little things for us and yeah, Kieran, well, and we're talking really about cool. some hot spring and we get we get um Dom Sculpts on, get him to talk about his it's it's designs that he's yeah. got coming up. Um, yeah, we'll just have a we'll have a we'll drop in night. Yeah, have a bit of fun. We're, we we get fun. um we get Neil to pop in for DT. We'll I'm try to, to yeah. Um, we get we get we got uh Matt we get Matt in again in. without pizza, and we get 3D mechanics on as well, so we can all laugh at his uh, northeast accent. Um, <laughs> and we will put subtitles on for people that can't understand it. Try, or yeah. we'll try and do sign writing and you yeah. can tell us if we're doing it right. Kieran, I, I'm I'm waiting to do that one. I have like ridiculous amounts of magnets to do it, but yeah. But anyway, so I need to yeah. go. Martin needs to go. It's been fun. Thank you everyone for dropping in. Um thank you everyone. Uh, I will it. post I will post details in our group on Facebook for the Sun Lube giveaway, um, which you know should be fun. It won't yeah, be anything. We'll find something fun to do. Um, but we'll get that. I'll get that posted tomorrow and um, we'll go from there. But thank you very much, everyone, for coming. And I will see you all again this week sometime. I might see even stream soon. tomorrow during the day. I get bored. <laughs> all right. Catch you all later. Cheers, guys.